And now, News Channel 10's 24-7 local weather first alert forecast, sponsored by Generator Supercenter of Amarillo. Hi, Kevin Selly in the Weather Center. Very interesting weekend with regard to the weather. We've got some showers, some thunderstorms in the forecast. We've also got some cooler air. For Friday night through Saturday morning, hit and miss showers are possible, not necessarily likely in any one spot. We're not looking for anything particularly heavy, but as we go on through the day on Saturday, rain chances increase. And then as we get into the late afternoon, evening hours, the chance for thunderstorms and some heavy rain increases even after dark. And I'm a little bit worried about the flooding potential. So we always try and remind everybody, please never, ever drive across any roadway that has water rushing across it. Could be a field or anything flat, but you don't know what has happened to the road underneath the rushing water. It could have washed out a little bit and would be a lot deeper and obviously more difficult or dangerous to drive through. So thank you for that. Then we got some much cooler air coming. In fact, Sunday, as opposed to Thursday, when we touched 100 degrees, it's about a 35 degree cool down, which is pretty sharp. Here's the trend. Average high 83, 86 is the forecast for Saturday, then only 67 mm. on Sunday. That'll feel pretty good, and then temperatures come back a little bit next week. Thunderstorm chances, yeah, best chance for severe weather on Saturday will be in the lighter yellow area. So from Tucumcari and Hereford southward, Clovis, Portales, obviously, that's a slight risk category for some strong to severe storms. Tornado threat is pretty low. It's not necessarily zero. And then as we uh, look at the severe wind gust threat and the hail threat, probably strong wind gusts are more likely some small to medium sized hail possible as well. Darker green areas, yeah, the threats are there, but they are lesser and rumbles of thunder possible really all across the panhandle. That's late day and then of course on into the evening hours. Let's run that through time here. Hit and miss showers, again, some rumbles of thunder will increase gradually as we go through the day on Saturday. So here's where we start. Scattered showers possible through the day, and then as we get out to the afternoon, we'll look for the main storm center to approach. So here's Saturday, 2 p.m. Rain chances increasing with the potential for heavy downpours where you see the darker red colors across the southwest. That's 6 p.m. right there. Increasing in coverage as it comes through the central portion of the panhandle, including Amarillo by 8 p.m. Again, heavy downpours. Really want to emphasize that potential there. And then it moves into and through the eastern parts of the panhandle by 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, and I think by shortly after midnight, most of the heavy stuff should be gone. So Saturday, 80% rain chance later in the day, all the threats we talked about. Some lingering showers possible in the morning Rain chances decreasing later in the day, but look at the temperature difference. 67 for the high, 47 Sunday night into Monday. Monday looks like a quiet day. Another disturbance brings us a 30% chance for hit and miss showers, thunder showers on Tuesday. And then the second part of next week looks pretty quiet.